Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen White, October 29th. Energy in the Christian Race. I'm pressing on the upward way, new heights I'm gaining every day, still praying as I onward bound, Lord plant my feet on higher ground, Lord lift me up and I shall stand, by faith on heaven's table land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Energy in the Christian Race Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 and 25. In order to render to God perfect service, we must have clear conceptions of his will. This will require us to use only healthful food, prepared in a simple manner, that the fine nerves of the brain be not injured, making it impossible for us to discern the value of the atonement and the priceless worth of the cleansing blood of Christ. If, for no higher object than a wreath or perishable crown, as a reward of their ambition, men subjected themselves to temperance in all things, How much more should those who profess to be seeking not only an unfading crown of immortal glory, but a life which is to endure as long as the throne of Jehovah and riches that are eternal, honors which are imperishable and an eternal weight of glory? Will not the inducements presented before those who are running in the Christian race lead them to practice self-denial and temperance in all things? With earnestness and intensity of desire to do the will of God, we should excel the zeal of those who are engaged in any other enterprise to a degree as much greater as the value of the object we are seeking to attain is higher. The treasure we are striving to secure is imperishable, immortal, and all-glorious, while that which the worldling is in pursuit of endures but a day. May it not be our great anxiety to succeed in this world, but may the burden of our souls be, how shall I secure the better world? What have I to do to be saved? The position all must come into is to value salvation dearer than earthly gain, to count everything but loss that they may win Christ. The consecration must be entire. God will admit of no reserve, of no divided sacrifice, no idol. All must die to self and to the world. Then let us each renew our consecration to God daily. Everlasting life is worth a lifelong, persevering, untiring effort. Our High Calling, October 29th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.